this video is all about uh, running the docker images multiple docker images in ecs cluster so i have already created two docker images for my java application and that's available in the docker hub now here if you look at the steps one to five so push the source code to git repo push the source code docker images these two steps are already completed so we are going to see from step number three to five create an ecs cluster and run the two tasks for the two docker images and run those two tasks in the ecs cluster and you can see the output of this docker images okay now let's make some hands dirty let's get onto the aws console and uh, i am at the ecs cluster this is the ecs cluster so create the cluster and uh, i'm using ec2 linux networking cluster i'm giving cluster name my cluster my cl and i'm using the on demand um, uh, instance here 32 micro we don't need any bigger ones okay create now the cluster is in uh, creation process let let does let it does its job we'll go to container service and then we'll create the tasks two tasks one is for one image and another is for another image so create a new task so i'm not using the forget i'm using the ec2 and uh, here task one you can select the role and you can use the bridge for the unix for the linux so that's what we have used that and add the container and this is a uh, container one and you can give the image name and these are the images of my images which are in the docker hub one is with the tag 4 and with the tag 5 okay so i'm using the 4 so let's put this container 1 and then uh, this is a soft limit we have to give here we give 1.8 mb and then this is the host port which i am going to run on the port 8084 and um, actual port is 8080 the container port and that's it this is done and uh, you can create here yeah so one task is completed and we'll create another task create new task ec2 next and then you can say task 2 select a role and network mode is bridge add container so this is container 2 and uh, here we are pulling the image from docker this one so this is the this is the image four and five right this is from the docker hub we are giving in the ecs cluster and then we can give a soft limit 128 and then here let me run on the port 8085 this is port 8080 by default container and then this is done this is created it is done now we have two tasks and cluster is created now run these two tasks in the cluster okay go to the cluster my cluster is active now and uh, tasks so run new tasks so this is a uh, task one which is we have already and this is the ec2 and uh, this one yeah so everything looks good and then this one is and task and you can also run another new task task 2 ec2 and then you can run task wait until uh, uh, you know these getting active and we can see the um, the output of it okay so we'll wait for a couple of minutes until it gets active yeah they are up and running now go to this task one and what is this ec2 instance will go it's the same ec2 instance so both the containers are running in this let's go to this ec2 instance and we'll just make sure that all the security groups and everything is correct with this in that way yeah it's up and running see so now just we will go and check the security groups what is the security here port 8080 so let's click on this add one more security group 
edit all tcp and that's it save rules now we are good to go so now on the ec2 instance take the dns name so you can see the details and where is the dns name you can go and check in the networking yeah here you can see the dns name so this is your ip address or this dns you can take either of that okay let me take this um, dns name okay. and then and this is running on the port 8084 and i can say get uh, you know you now what is that uh, hello jenkins just a moment what is the code i have it's like hello jenkins right port 84 oh this is on the port 8085 because on the latest code now if i type this one you will see now hello jenkins because hello jenkins is not there in the lower version so port 8085 is there hello jenkins and if you use the same thing so that is the difference you can see 8084 port 8084 you can say hello docker you see this how easy it is and uh, even with the hello jenkins and uh, hello kubernetes i have added in newer version so hello kubernetes hello kubernetes see you will get but you don't get this hello jenkins on the in the lower version because it's not there so that code is not there suppose if i give here hello jenkins you say you don't get anything yeah that's all so this is how you can uh, run your images multiple images into uh, ecs cluster by running different tasks and pretty much that's all about it